Hey guys, welcome back to my AFK Arena. In today's video, we've got another event coming back. Another one of the PvP events. Um, which one is this? Battle of Blood? I believe it's the Battle of Blood. I believe that's which one it is. I haven't jumped into it on this server because I logged over. I had to give the little flex that I ended up legend. Honestly, on this account, this was after... Literally that day one at the turn over of it, I climbed to like rank 15, I believe it was. And we managed to hold legend, which I'm pretty happy about on the free to play account holding that legend. So we end up getting 50 scrolls and 20 stargazer tickets. Pretty solid overall. Happy very happy with those results. So let's jump over here and take a look. So obviously we have this event ongoing, but it's the Battle of Blood that we do have back as well. Honestly, Battle of Blood, uh, it, it just beats War of Wits for me. Uh, yes, you don't get to do the placing yourself, but it's just too slow and stuff like that in the War of Wits. So we do have it over here. And and honestly, I just, I just, I think Battle of Blood, it's quick. It's snappy. It's in, out, job, done. So let's take a look at the quests that we have and what we can get for it. So uh, obviously from my last ratings, or I believe it's on, I can't remember how it works out your base rating. I've already got a few of these just off my base rating. So these are the challenge quests. So we got five scrolls, we got five scrolls, and we got 10 stargazers. Not too bad on freebies. Then we jump over into the dailies. We got some XP, some gold, some dust, a scroll, and this bad boy which you know not too bad collect those just easy daily stuff so let's take a look at the dailies um pretty much uh, i i'm pretty sure you just gotta win a couple games like that's pretty much it achieve two victories achieve two big victories and do three battles that's it two victories three battles not too hard especially if you're in a lower account where it hasn't even placed you up in a rank uh yet so it's gonna be pretty cruisy so let's take a look so we do have um the newest characters in it by the looks of it which isn't too bad uh as always we can check the enemy team uh see what they got i don't even know what they're gonna do they'll probably use like a dude do they even have a Maybe they do like Belinda with Sophia. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, I haven't even thought of what I'm going to do, to be honest. Do I have anything that I want to put in the front row? Put you there. Maybe go Zolrath. Let's do that. I could have put Z uh, Zikus in there. But I think we'll be fine. Uh, what I might do is I might put you in the back mid. Um... And then, so what factions have I got? You know, I'm going to put you back mid. I'm going to put you there. Yep. Just so we get the stack the hyper gene bonus. And then we'll just put Euron down the bottom. I think I think that's fine. I think we should get a clutch of win like this. Once again, I like these, these this event. Like, it's just quick. Do your placements. As long as the person's not AFK and just, like, dragging things out for you. And we can go full-time speed as well, obviously. Um... Euron did get an ult off before. Oh, I thought he was going to die, but... Yeah, we, we did that pretty easily, actually. Unless Thorin chases us, which, you know, it's it ain't going to happen. Easy done. Look at that. Well played, team. Let's take a look. Uh, your current rank is 5. Based on your current rank, you will receive 5. I don't even know what that means. But let's take a look. Getting some DPS out of the Yennefer. Okay, let's go again. See if we can crack top 100. I reckon we can do it. I reckon we can do it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What do they got? Um, okay, nothing crazy. They do have Euron. They got Queen. Bruce can be a little bit annoying. What have I got? I haven't even looked at my team. I got the big Rigby's. That could be handy. Um, okay, let's do the group. How do I want to play this? I kind of want to go Thescu main. Like, I can't get... I want to bring the two hypos because I can't get a faction bonus in this team. It's impossible for me to get a faction bonus. So what I'm actually going to do is we're going to go Thescu tank. We're going to go the Thescu tank. Don't judge. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go with... I'm going to put her, de her there and I'm going to do something weird. I'm actually going to put Pippa down here and get, get her to drop... Uh, I think that works. Get get her to drop Sonya into the mix. Now, I'm not too sure who's going to win the race out of Iron and... I think Iron's going to drag me in, but I don't know if I still land my thing and group them up. But that's okay, because if we get the group up, then we've... I, I honestly think we're pretty safe here. I think we're pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a weird-looking team, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think we can do all right here. 
Because we get the teleport. We've got Thescu doing the spits. We've got Frampton about to ult if he survives. We've got a star that's got them all grouped up and just dropping that flame on them. And yeah, like I, I feel like that, that Frampton and star combo was going to be really solid. But look at Thescu can do, deal some damage. And then we also have Sonya reflecting that damage. That was a pretty solid comp. Let's go again. Let's go again. This brings me back to the days when this first came out. I love this event. Like when it first came out, what's the enemy got? Do, 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 do. Uh, the big th Honestly, I love Joker in this event. Uh, so I might split my factions a bit, but we'll see. I'll probably end up going... Uh, I need DPS. So I kind of... I, like, honestly, we got, we got Iron's Elbetto. We're stupid not to use that. Um, but it's what we want to bring besides that. Do we want to go for a faction bonus or do we want to split? I think we go Mezoth, Zolrath, these two, and like a Rowan and just play it the safe way. So that, that's why I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. I think we should clap like this. I think we should clap. So I'm going to do that. We'll put her up top. It's a bit, bit telegraphing what we're going to do in the end, but let's just do this. Honestly, I I do I didn't see the Isabella. I love Isabella in this. I would love it if I got shredded by Isabella right here. It would make me happy. Let's see. Let's see. Isabella's getting close. There goes the Joker. Irons is about to pop. Isabella's going. Can my Irons please pop before the Isabella kills us? Nice. Pretty safe. We we've actually done really solid for the start of this. And Mezoth doing some deeps as well. We probably killed a bunch of stuff before Iron's ult, so we didn't get to do as much damage. All right, we're at rank 165. Not too bad. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's push this a bit further. Uh, all right. Um, wow. Kazard? Do we go the Kazard? But do we have anything? That, oh, they got the Da Vinci. Da Vinci's like... like da Vinci's an issue, and I don't have anything to interrupt the Da Vinci. So the, the Da Vinci is going to clap me. I think we're going to lose this one based on the Da Vinci. Um, I'm going to randomly try and lunge in this one. Okay, we're going to try this. I don't think it works. I don't think it works, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Let's see how it goes. I, I, do, I don't have high hopes for this. I'm going to go the Tassie. Sometimes Torn can be decent in this thing as well. Sometimes Torn can be re real decent, but I, I think I'm going to play it this way. I think this way will be okay. Yeah, obviously go on that Da Vinci. Uh, and then we're just going to put Kazard in there. Uh, th I I'm just thinking, I'm thinking hopefully my... I can dodge with the, the two front rows and with the Tassie, I can avoid that stun and I'm hoping that can clutch me. It didn't work out that way, which kind of sucks. And yeah, we're going to get shredded by that, Isabella. Not much we can do. Although we do get Tali to survive because of her ult. Um, can we sleep everything and clutch a victory? Yeah, honestly, no. Uh, yeah, I don't think there was a play for me in that one, which I was going to win. Uh, maybe if you guys saw it, let me know. Uh, I just did not see, like, Da Vinci's just... I, I, I feel like DaVinci is just broken in this format because people can't make team. If you don't have a counter to it, like, I, I feel like you just lose because your whole board just, it's done. It's like you, you, you have no chance. Okay, what do they got? Look at the irons. You know what? I'm going to try, I'm going to try Spearboy. I really like Spearboy. Um, so we're going to try and smoke the, oh, let's do like a full smoke the back row team. All right, we're going to do this. I know what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to do this. Pretty cool with this. I, I, I'm pretty happy with the idea that I've got here. Um, so we, we, we're going full smoke the back row team. We're going full smack the back row. I, I, I think Speedboy, I think their highest attack will be in the back row. So that's what I'm anticipating. Hopefully we end up doubling up on the Raku with Speedboy and Athalia and we're pretty good. Hopefully that's the play. Let's see what happens. Um, or is it going to be the irons? So I feel like we're going to double up with Spearboy and one of the other two. So I feel we're on the right hand side of the screen. So let's take a look at the left. Uh, I can't even see where Spearboy is, but he's ulting. I, I couldn't see. I can't see anything that's going on. 
I legitimately cannot see. Oh, he's in the middle now. I, I, I got no idea, guys. Maybe Brutus had the highest attack because of the, the, the passive. That's probably what happened. But I mean, Spearboy is ulting heaps. Pretty solid. I, lo I, I love that. I love that kind of team. I look at his damage. Dude is savage. I love it. I love it. That was solid. Okay, we're in rank 77. It's uh, it's honestly we're four hours after the the event came out, so it, it is test server. But I'm pretty happy with that. Let's let's see if we can push it a little bit further. See if we can push it a little bit further. To be fair, the first couple rounds I had just better teams. Uh, that round I think feel like was pretty even, but when you got a full in like lunging team, I feel like it's pretty solid in this. Uh, that Da Vinci team I just had no chance against, but let's see. Um, this one's fairly balanced. I do like the Yennefer in this so far. Uh, we've obviously got the Mishka. Uh, I think I'll bring Mishka, Pippa, Lawson, um, Athalia, and Scarlet. I think that's a play. I think that's a play. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna do it like this, and then I'll put a Thalia under um, under Lawson. So if Lawson dies, it's not the end of the world because a Thalia won't be there. Uh, I think we're pretty cool like that. So if I do that, and then we chuck um, Pipper in the mid, so we straight away get a port. And I don't think they can do anything before my port. I don't think they got anything to counter me. So we should free, we should get that port pretty free. Even if they choose, I was gonna say, even if they choose Mishka, uh, sorry, Gwyneth, my other girl. Um, and honestly, there's nothing that's gonna stall out for that. Maybe him with his passive, but I don't think anything is gonna stall out for Flora. So we should be pretty good here. Look at that Thalia damage, just absolutely destroying. And then if Scarlet gets an ult here, just GGs. Yeah, we were pretty set up there. We're pretty set up. Honestly, we're having a good run. We're having a good run. Let's keep this up a little bit more. Let's see what we can do. Check damage. Yeah, Scarlet came in, but that early damage from Thali was nuts. Rank 56. Let's keep going. Okay. Cossum. Ooh, we got, we got uh, Geralt and Yennefer. Nice. What have they got? Uh, I really like the Fane. I, I love Thescu in this. I think Izold's pretty decent for this as well. Baba Yaga's not too bad. So they got some decent stuff. Um, I feel like I've got the play though. Um, I feel like this is mine to lose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to do Hendrik just for the extra defenses. Um, and then I think I'm going to run into running with these two and bring the Tassie. The Mahira is tempting. But I'm going to leave the Mahira out for this one. I think that's the play. Right, let's do this. Okay, so we'll be fine there. Uh, creepy Hand Lady shouldn't be too much of a worry. We'll put you up there. We'll put you in the mid, and then we'll put the Tassie down the bottom. Uh, at least Tassie gives me a 4v5, which is solid. Um, and we should be able to stall out until Ainz is stunned uh, because of our front row. Like, honestly, Geralt's going to be awesome for this. I, I, I feel like Geralt's going to be a beast in this mode. Uh, so we're coming in from the right-hand side of screen. Let's take a look. Geralt living fine. Nothing's really having any issues at the moment. Geralt's already altered. Yennefer's about to ult, which is going to be nice. And Ainz is about to clap everything else. Yeah. That was a solid That was a solid comp. Obviously, Ainz doing all the damage. But Yennefer's damage, pretty decent. And on a, like Geralt's just good survivability. Like, just really solid survivability. Rank 40. Let's keep going. All right. Let's see. I'm actually enjoying this, like thoroughly enjoying this. I'm getting some pretty good hands though. So let's see what they've got. Um, once again, Da Vinci, do I have a Da Vinci counter? Uh, can I do something about the Da Vinci by using, well, I see the Da Vinci, I think he's still gonna, he's still gonna frustrate me, but I think we're gonna go with the play of Orthros and Hendrik so we can get some defense happening. Actually, I'm going to go Orthros and him because I feel like he can lunge. I don't know the exact timings of these things and positionings. Um, so bear with me, but we are going to go with the chicken. Um, uh, let's put you mid. So, so the idea of chicken prince, hopefully we can stun the whole team. Get something like that happening. Um, let's hit ready. I'm tempted to bring Izold, but I'm more leaning towards... Um, bringing the Desira 
Now, Desire is going to give us a three-piece bonus and also give us some heal ability. And once that mist starts, it's just going to keep going no matter if we get CC'd. And we should be turning that Arthur around um, with our Tresnor because he's going to run through and Arthur's going to turn and face him and I don't want to bring another melee. So I think I, I think I, I'd say he's got the wood because he's got Da Vinci, but I could have a chance here. I'm coming in from the left. So there we go. We did run in. We did get stunned. We should have some fears coming. We're starting to get the stun happening as well. I don't think we're going to have the damage though. Yeah, that's. I, I didn't even bring any damage. I didn't even think about it. I was like, I was like combining everything to counter that Da Vinci. But honestly, Da Vinci, like uh, Da Vinci, and this is just, it's just GGs. Unless you have a direct counter for him. If you don't have the direct counter, it's just like cannon. And then it's like, what? What? Like, what are you going to do? You just boned. Um, what's this guy got? Okay, so he's got... Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's pretty safe. He's got Irons Mortis. He's got Kren, he's got, which is solid as well. Uh, he's got the protection as well for it. So um, I don't know... Dude, I don't know how Irons works with this dude. Um, I can't even remember his name, but the Celestial Man. Um, I do have the Isabella, which I do like. Do I have anything to boost my energy regeneration rates? I do not. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place him... Uh, and I'm gonna place... Honestly, it's weird, but I kind of like Thescu for it. But I don't have anything that needs the mid. I might actually put a star in the front row, get the mitigation, and then let Thescu spit on everyone else. And I can put Creepy Hand and Lady in the top if they decide to put Irons top. Um, at least then she'll survive for a sec. Um, at this point, I'm thinking we just do Isabella instead and we do that. Uh, yes. And then, depending... Okay, he's gone there. Shit. We do get the taunt though. We do get the taunt. I'm actually gonna go with you. I can I can go with Mauler if I want to. But I'm leaning towards this. I'm leaning towards the Kayleen. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Yes, okay. Let's see. Let's see. I, I feel like they've got the better hand. I'm coming in from the right hand side of screen. Let's let's see how this goes. Okay, a star's in the air, which is good. Oh, nice. That, that was a quick, easy battle. That was... I did not expect that to go that well. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that play. Okay, nice. Rank 36. Let's go again. Let's get top 20. Let's go get top 20 and call it a day. I really enjoy this event. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, I'm pretty decent. I do like the fact that I've got the Kren. Um, let's see, they've got, oh, they got Irons. They also have Yennefer, which is pretty solid. Morrow's another really decent unit in this from what, what I've found, because when you can't form teams, he can actually be really decent. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to play on the Kren thing, um, but that means I can't use the Iron. So if I do the Kren Laika, a star I absolutely love for this. Or I could do the Iron with a star and get a star to rain rain down on everyone. I think we're gonna do it like this. I think we're gonna do it like this, because then when I put the Kren in, it gives me the three piece. I'll get a I'll get a three two bonus. Uh, I think is the play. I'm gonna do this for the three two bonus. Uh, and then we'll put Kren in the final slot. I think that's fair. If they do something weird, we would swap it. Um, but I'm just banking on the fact that with Leica, maybe I can ult before them and start... I, I don't know. I don't know. Unless the Irons ult. I don't know how this is going to work. We'll wait and see. I think in this situation, Kren is going to shoot the Thorin backwards. I believe. Is the one he's going to go to. Okay, I'm coming in from the left. Let's take a look. So Kren, no, he goes up onto the Daemon, okay. We get that coming out. Okay, Kren did ult super quick. We got the juggles happening, which is perfect. Which is absolutely perfect. Nice, yep. Kren GG's. Kren Laika, pretty handy in this, not gonna lie. Kren Laika, super handy. And then honestly, a star in this, like, really clutch just to get that mitigation early on. It's, it's like having a Merlin. Uh, but yeah, that was three. Did three of them do zero damage? Three of his play characters did zero damage. That sucks. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go one more. Let's go again. Let's crack that top twenty. Let's see how we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, please, 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 please. 
If it gets to 60 seconds, we're, we're, we're cutting it out. Well, if it gets to 60, it's not technically seconds because we're on the fast speed, so it's counting up quicker, which is very weird. Um, okay, honestly, I can make this work if they don't have something godly. Okay, I can make this work. If I was them, I'd be looking at something like Arthur, Morrow, Titus. He, I'd, I'd honestly take Thane if I was him for DPS because he's lacking other DPS options. So for me, I have Yennefer and I have Ezio, which is really, really solid. I've got Orthros, which I will take along as well. I actually might do Orthros Wukong um, along with those two, and I'll choose my last one based on what they do. I'll leave the middle slot open for a Gwyneth if I want to. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I might take the Izold. Oscar is also a possibility. I believe it or not, I may I may opt into the Oscar. Unfortunately, we missed out that placement. It would have been really nice if our Estril, if the Estrilda was running into the Wukong, so we could have played for that. Um, you know, we're just gonna put her there. Uh, no, we're not. We're not. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Um, because if he puts two back row units, which I doubt he will, but if he puts an Arthur in, it means he's gonna put at least one back row unit. Which is, the only one he's got is actually Nomura. So I'd say Titus coming front row. I'd say like Titus and Thane getting placed. Nomura and Thane. So I'm assuming Titus will be his last one. And with that Thane, I don't know if I want to go into the Gwyneth. Uh, but I still think it's not a bad option. Although I'm going to actually go with Izold because he's very heavy on the on the light bearers and i feel like Izold is a, a solid play hopefully the nomura is going to charm okay he went for the arthur hopefully nomura is going to charm my wukong and give me a free clone that's what i'm hoping for honestly we're, we're, we're that was some pretty decent damage from yennefer but they are healing up pretty well we need to get some ults happening pretty quick here uh yennefer please thank you because then we get that cc happening everyone's dropping below threshold ezio's just racked up that threshold super fast Nice. Surely Thane doesn't solo me. Yeah. Nice. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that one went. He didn't really have any other damage options. Uh, that's where his team sort of let him down. We are in rank 19. All right, let's, let's go one more. Let's, let's just see. I'm having a lot of fun here. Uh, sorry for the long video if anyone's even around anymore, which probably not. But hey, I'm having fun. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Um... Maybe like an Iron Gorvo, or maybe, maybe, maybe we do charms. We, we don't have damage. We, we do not have damage. That's our problem. Uh, and, uh, I don't like this. I do not like this very much at all. So what I'm thinking is we do this, we do this. Uh, I'm thinking we do Gorvo here. Okay, I'm going to play it this way. I think this works. I think this kind of works. Like, it's not great, but it's the best I can come up with. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go roll into him and him down there. Yes. Uh, and then we're going to put the ear on in. I don't think this is great, but this might let us kill the Lucretia fast, which would be handy. Um, but our only damage dealers are Eron. Uh, and the Kelfa, so we, we need to rely on them getting some big deeps in. Okay, we lost Silas really quick, Iron really quick. Uh, this is game over for me, unless we get the reset. Zolrath, hide, buddy. Okay, can we do it on the reset? Can we do it on the reset? That would be huge. Once again, Silas clapped, Iron clapped. Keltha, can he, can, he, can he get something out of here? Zorath again, please. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, I, I, you, you, if, if you're watching, you saw my face as soon as I saw his team, and it was just not good. It was the, Looking at his team was just like, I, I don't think I can win. Um, let's check this one. Okay, honestly, he's pretty solid. He's got that Khazard that he can put behind there. Um, he can put his Khazard behind an Arthur, and he's got the Merlin, which is pretty solid. Uh, and then he's also got a Silas and a Rosaline. Not too bad. I think he's pretty solid. I really do like Spearboy, so we're gonna we're gonna go with Spearboy. We're also gonna go with you because I really like you. And uh, why not get in early with that as well? So uh, actually, maybe I'll do Zolrath back row and I'll go Tresnor. Uh, no, I'm gonna do Zolrath front row because I'm thinking what we do is we do Spearboy and Totem Dude, 
And I may... I'm not too sure on my last one. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so let's go Spearboy up here. I want Totem Dude because I want the haste. So we'll do that. Um, if I want a bonus, I've got to use Tree, but I'm not going to use Tree, obviously. Let's do this. Let's take the two-piece bonus. Um, I think I lose this one. I, I genuinely think... I don't know why he put Silas behind Arthur because he's going to bounce out of it. That was a bad move by him, but... I think he could still get me. Just, I can't see who Spearboy's on. Oh, no, he, ju he jumped in front of Scrag. What an idiot. Eorin. Oren. However we want to say his name. I suck at his name. But I think we're pretty good. Now that we've got rolling, I think we're fine. Because of all the poisons that we, we're going to be applying. Like, I, 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 just I just don't see us having an issue here. Hopefully. But I could be wrong. But I feel like we're in a safe place. He's just... Like, we just can't deal damage to him. Um, but we should snowball it pretty soon. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Sick. Sick. Uh, I think we... I, I, I think... Yeah, we, we, you just win on timeout based on HP left and units left. So, we're fine there. And Spearboy doing huge damage in that. Pretty decent for PvP. Rank 20. Let's go again. Let's go again. We, we got shafted on the matchup when we got to top 20 last time. So, let's see if we can get a better matchup on this one. That'd be handy. That would be handy. Last match. Last match, I promise, guys. Because I feel like this video is going forever. Please, 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 please. If it gets to 60, we just end the video. If it gets to 60, we end the video. It's going to come close. It's going to come close. It's coming close. See ya.